Hi, everyone. This is Sandra, SourceOutreachMinistries.com. And we're currently under org until I can get that straightened out. But uh, <laughs> thank you for coming today to our next lesson um, in the Jesus Falling book that we're following by Sarah Young. Uh, we're using this as a, in conjunction with the Bible. But she set it up very nicely with um, her, her worrying words in the story of this. It's like a daily devotional. Mm -hmm. and, and then she puts the scriptures to follow. So it's a nice way to, that we can teach. <laughs> and we have Minister Love here today too, representing Block Who Ministries <laughs> and MyBibleRegistration.com. And we also have um, lessons on that for you too, 42 lessons. Mm -hmm. And um, so we'll, we'll just get started today. Just thank you for being here. Mm -hmm. And today, um, lesson 22, it's because I have to strive to trust Jesus. Mm -hmm. Wow. And that I think that's going to be a good study today because a lot of people, they, they, because you can't see Jesus, you just have to know he is there. You have to feel him and, and trust him and know because you can't see him like they did back when he was walking the earth. So mm. this one is, is for us. To, a lot of people, they want something tangible. They want to see it. They want to know about it, you know, and be able to touch it and all that and, and, and examine it. But, but this one, this is totally by faith by trust mm -hmm. so um we're gonna go to the first scripture which is psalms 52 8 and Ms. Love, would you like to start us off yes i will but i am like a green olive tree in the house of god i trust in the mercy of god forever and ever mm -hmm. oh i i love this this is a psalm of david and it's kind of, David is showing us a picture of him like a tree, an olive tree. And did you notice that he described himself as a green olive tree? So here he's like a plant or a tree in God's house. Right. And he's trusting God to the point that he knows that God going to keep him green. He's going to keep him watered, keep light on him. He's, he's, he's trusting God that God is not going to let his plant wither. He's going to, he know that God, when he wake up, when that plant wake up in the morning as an olive tree, he's going to have some pretty green leaves. They're not going to be brown. Why? Because he's trusting God to take care of him. That's how I'm seeing this here. And that's how we got to be. We got to, if we're planted in God's house, if we're planted in this world, we got to know without a shadow of a doubt that he's going to take care of us. That's why we can trust him. That's for sure. And, and it also says too, he trusts in the mercy of God because God gives mm -hmm. us mercy. He gives us grace. He gives yes. us so many other factors that mm -hmm. develop us so that we could trust him. Yeah. That we can have faith in him, that we can know that he's really there because uh, sometimes circumstances happen and you see him working for you, you know, and then the results could be good sometimes not mm -hmm. but but you didn't do anything to make those results you know right all of a sudden you know someone calls with what you're hoping for or something comes in the mail that you didn't expect to help you and so this is like they work behind the scenes for us mm -hmm. and and sometimes at night he'll the holy spirit will wake you up at three in the morning or two in the morning because that's kind of when they're out there they say that that all oh, the, the enemies are sleeping <laughs> that the demons are sleeping. So that's when God is out there talking with his people and he wakes you up and he, you guys, you know, we talk about stuff like what we're doing in, for him, or he'll give you some, um, some, some prophecies, some information about some other people that he wants you to reveal it to. He'll give you, he'll tell you, get up and write it. And then he'll give you scriptures to go with it after. And it, you just say, there's no way that I could do that. So it, 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 it assures you the trust then is just unbelievable. You go, my God, he picked me to do this and to tell this to somebody. And, and, uh, and because I'm no, I'm nobody, you know, and then you give it to those people and the people just, you know, are just in awe because it's exactly what they needed to hear. And uh, so it's so amazing. And then like for minister love, she, she has so many testimonies and so many situations <laughs> in her life that, you know, he's real. Yeah. You know, you That's right. oh, no. no. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And many yeah. other people that love and trust him that they've been saved from terrible accidents and not to get on a certain plane or not to do mm -hmm. something. 
and they, they heeded his word and did not, you know, so that's not us coming up with those ideas that, you know, that's not someone calling you, Hey, Sandy, don't do that. You know, it's, it's just quite amazing when you have this deep relationship with, with the Mm. Holy Spirit and Jesus and his father, because um, you will be revealed and they will reveal to you exactly that they're, they are there with you. And um, until you decide to do, you know, what we're doing, and it may be a different path, but doing the reading and getting to know them, you're going to go, wow, Sandra and Minister Love, they were not lying. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they were telling us just like it is, mm-hmm. you know, and that's what we do. That's why we're here. We're telling you just like it is from our personal perspective, how we experience it and from the word of God, the Bible. Mm-hmm. And, and that's exactly what we're doing here. You know, no, no more, no less. We don't add any, any extras in it that we think that would entice you. No, this is exactly mm-hmm. the word of God coming out of our mouths. Right. So uh, with that yeah. said, we're going to go to the last scripture of this lesson right. today. And it's Proverbs yes. 3, <clears throat> 5 and 6. And I'll let Minister Luck. Love, take it because my mouth is babbling. A little, oh, okay. A All right. <laughs> okay. Proverbs 3, chapter 5 and 6. And the key word today, as Sandy just talked about, uh, elaborated on, um, is the word what? Trust. So let's see what the uh, this Proverbs wisdom says here. It reads, trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not unto thy own understanding. In all thy ways, acknowledge him and he shall what direct thy path. Ain't that what we just saw in that uh, that scripture before, where it says that uh, man devises his own way, but the Lord will direct his steps. So right. here it is. I love what the scripture did there. Right away, it told us who to trust in. It didn't say trust in your money. It didn't say trust in man, woman, social media, this ideology or this 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 church or that church. It said trust in the Lord. And I love what. The, uh, Solomon does here that if you're going to trust in someone and God especially you got to do it with all of your heart mm-hmm. all of your heart if you're going to get the benefits and the blessings of God then you got to have to trust him all the way in other words you got to trust everything from Genesis to Revelation with all of your heart Believe, even the good and the bad that's in this book you still got to trust that God going to bring it out for the good that is it so true. And that's our lesson for today. So I hope that this really inspires you to mm-hmm. uh, start reading your Bible. And we have a great um, website that can help you with that. Minister Love, mm-hmm. tell them about the website we've made. Oh, yes. We got a, a new one this year, BlackCoopMinistries.com. Over there on that website, we're talking about Jesus genealogy. Who is in Jesus' genealogy? And then we have mybibleregistration.com where we're dealing with the question, why should I study my Bible? So great lessons as you're getting here at sourceoutreachministries.com. We got those two websites as well. Thank you, Sister Sandy. All right. Thank you for being with us today. And next week, come back for another great lesson. God bless. God bless.